God has promised to restore all the years the caterpillar, cankerworm and locust have eaten. He's the God of restoration. Psalm 23 verse 3 says, He restores my soul and he leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. He's ready to restore your marriage, health, business, academics, finance and every other area in which you need a complete restoration. Not only does he restore, but he also makes whole. He can make you whole in your health and all other strategic places you need his divine touch. The word of God says in Jeremiah 30, 17, For I will restore health unto you, and I'll heal you of all your wounds, says the Lord, because they called you an outcast, saying, This is Zion whom no man seeks after. He has promised you in his word that he is going to heal you of all wounds. Be they physical wounds, emotional wounds or financial wounds, I pray for you that your health is restored today in Jesus name. So we will be praying for complete restoration of all that the devil and his agents have stolen from us and the wholeness of our spirit, souls and bodies. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for healing us and making us whole from all our infirmities. Thank you for restoring all the things that the enemy has stolen from us. In Jesus' name. With faith in your heart, receive these prayers and declaration I would say over you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you and your family that the Lord will restore your health and heal all kinds of wounds you have been suffering from in Jesus' name. Right now, I leverage on the name of the Lord Jesus and I decree a complete restoration of your finance. There is no more labor loss for you. Joel 2.25 says, And I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, the cankerworm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. According to God's word, I proclaim and say that the Lord is restoring your years and all wasted labor that did not yield tangible results are restored in Jesus name. The Lord will cause a complete restoration of your finance. You would no longer labor in vain. There is productivity and fruitfulness for you. Right now there is a restoration of the anointing of God in your ministry in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is healing and restoring your soul of every emotional wound and pain in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I make a declaration that there is a complete restoration of your lost glory. You are revived in your spirit mind. I also pray that the Lord would turn your captivity around like those that dreamed. Your dry bones are receiving flesh and sinews in the name of Jesus. Right now, I pray that all your hopes that have been dashed and deferred in the past because of the failed promises are restored by the power in the name of Jesus. You will have every reason to live and enjoy the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Your business that is not doing well as it should begins to flourish and prosper like the tree planted by the riverside in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you possess back all the good things the wicked ones have stolen from you by the power in the name of Jesus. Psalm 51 verse 12 says, Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with a willing spirit. According to God's word, I pray for you that your joy that was stolen or tampered with by the wicked ones is restored. And I pray for you that the Lord would uphold your spirit. The scripture in Psalm 8 to 5 verse 4 says, Restore us, O God of our salvation, and put away our indignation towards us. Right now, I leverage on that word and I pray for you that the Lord restores to you in all ramifications and have mercy upon you and your family in the name of Jesus. 
the Lord will bring you back to your rightful place and restore you in sevenfold. I pray that the Lord is helping you to build back broken bridges between you and people that have offended you in times past. For your shame, the Lord is giving you double honor. And for ashes, he is giving you beauty in the name of Jesus. From today, you begin to lay gold as dust. And the Lord is speaking hope into all hopeless situations for your life and family in the mighty name of Jesus. The resurrection power that rose Jesus from the dead will fall upon your life right now and begin to bring back to life all things that are dead in your life. I decree that the anointing to recover all that the enemy has stolen from you falls upon you right now. The mercy of God will arise and push you your destiny to the right location and people in the name of Jesus. I command a sevenfold restoration of all the wonderful things the wicked ones have stolen from you and all the good things that are meant for you but in the possession of others are restored to you right away in Jesus name. I unseat all the evil ones that are sitting in your rightful position and are sitting on your promotion and prosperity in the name of Jesus. You begin to enjoy all good things that the Lord has specially prepared for you and your family in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for hearing and answering our prayers. Glory be to your name, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. In the realm of the spirit, there exists a battle that rages on. A battle not fought with conventional weapons, but with the power of prayer and the might of faith. It is warfare unlike any other, for it is weighed against the forces of darkness that seek to hinder and destroy the plans and purposes that God has ordained for your life. As you embark on this journey of spiritual warfare, let your heart be filled with a resolute determination and unwavering trust in the Lord, for He is your shield and your strength. Isaiah 42 verse 2 says, God will go before you and will leave the mountains. I break the gates of brass and break in pieces the bars of iron. And verse 3 went on to say that God would give you the hidden riches stored in secret places so that you would know that he is God of Israel who calls you by name. God is about breaking the gates of your enemies and will give you their spoils. Almighty and merciful God, I humbly come before your presence knowing that you are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. You are the God who fights for me, the one who goes before me in battle. I acknowledge that the enemy is strong and his gates are fortified. But I also know that you are the God of breakthrough, the one who gives me victory over every adversary in Jesus' name. Father, I ask that you prepare me for the battle. As I clothe myself with the armor of your righteousness and gird me with the belt of truth, Lord God, let my feet remain shot with the readiness of the gospel of peace and as I take up the shield of faith to extinguish every fairy dart of the evil one I place upon my head the helmet of salvation that I may have the mind of Christ and I hold on the sword of the spirit which is your word that I may declare your truth with boldness and authority in Jesus name in the name of Jesus, I bind every spirit of darkness that seeks to hinder and obstruct the plans and purposes that you have ordained for me. I break every chain and every stronghold that has been erected against me. I command every demonic force to flee from my presence and to submit to the authority of Christ. I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper and every tongue that rises up against me in judgment is already condemned in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, I pray for the strength and endurance to press on in this battle. When my heart grows weary and my faith falters, remind me of your promises. Remind me that you are my refuge and fortress, my God whom I trust. Teach me to be still and know that you are God and that you will fight for me. 
Grant me the wisdom to discern the strategies of the enemy and the discernment to hear your voice amidst the chaos of the battlefield in Jesus' name. As I confront the gates of the enemy, I pray for divine insight and understanding. Open my eyes to see the hidden schemes and tactics that the enemy employs. Give me the wisdom to discern his lies and discernment to recognize his disguises. Let the light of your truth expose every wickedness and illuminate the path that you have set before me in Jesus' name. I take authority over every demonic principality and power that has established a stronghold over the gates of the enemy. I declare that these gates shall not prevail against me, for greater is he who is in me than he who is in this world. I command every demonic entity to be bound and cast out and I release the power of the Holy Ghost to demolish every barrier and tear down every stronghold in Jesus name. Lord, as I possess the gates of the enemy, I pray for a spirit of boldness and courage. Fill me with your Holy Spirit that I may be fearless in the face of opposition. Give me the strength to stand firm in the battle knowing that you are with me. Let my faith be unshakable and resolve unyielding as I press forward to claim the victory that is already won in Jesus name. I surrender my will and my desires to you, O Lord. I submit myself wholly to your plan and purpose for my life. Help me to overcome the plans of wicked ones and I take possession of the spoils of the enemy in Jesus' name. O Heavenly Father, I come before you in humble reverence, acknowledging your sovereignty and might. I recognize that the battles I face are not merely against flesh and blood, but against the spiritual forces of evil that seek to hinder your purpose in my life. Today, I stand at the gates of the enemy, ready to claim victory through the power of your Holy Spirit, Jesus. Lord, I ask that you equip me with the full armor of God, Guard my waist with the belt of truth, that I may discern deceit and walk in righteousness. Clothe me with the breastplate of righteousness, guarding my heart against the enemy's attack. Place under me and upon my feet the readiness of the gospel of peace, that I may walk in your ways and share your love with those around me. I take up the shield of faith, that I may extinguish every fiery dart aimed at my spirit. Place upon my head the helmet of salvation, protecting my mind and thoughts from the enemy's lies. And finally, place in my hand the sword of the Spirit, which is your word, that I may wield it with wisdom and authority in Jesus' name. As I stand before the gates of the enemy, I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I cast down every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. I proclaim that I am more than a conqueror through him who loves me by the power of the Holy Spirit. I bind every demonic force and render them powerless and ineffective in the name of Jesus. I command the gates of the enemy to crumble and fall for greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. In the name of Jesus. Oh, precious Lord, I surrender my will to yours. Fill me with your Holy Spirit that I may walk in step with your divine guidance. Open my eyes to see the strategies of the enemy and grant me discernment to navigate through the snares and traps set before me. Lead me not into temptation, but deliver me from evil. Grant me supernatural wisdom to overcome every obstacle and insight to uncover the hidden schemes of the enemy in Jesus' name. I ask, dear Lord, for renewed strength and unwavering faith. When doubt and weariness try to overtake me, remind me of your promises and the victories you have already won on my behalf. May I stand firm in the assurance that you are with me and no weapon formed against me shall prosper in Jesus' name. Father, I intercede for those who are also standing at the gates of the enemy. Strengthen their resolve and empower them with your spirit. Release your angels to encamp around them and guard them against the forces of darkness. Let the power of your love flow through them, dismantling strongholds and transforming lives. May they too possess the gates of the enemy and advance your kingdom in the spiritual realms in Jesus' name. Lord, I surrender my desires and fears. 
and my very being into your hands. May your will be done in my life and the lives of my family. In Jesus' name. Amen. It is necessary that Thanksgiving should be your lifestyle. Our Lord Jesus cultivated the lifestyle of consistently giving thanks to God. When the praises go up, the glory comes down. There are days you will not feel like thanking God because of the negative things going on around you. But that is the best time to thank God. As a matter of fact, the best way to access God's presence is through thanksgiving. Psalm 100 verse 4 says, You should enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. The right posture to coming to God is a posture of appreciation and gratitude for the good things he did for you in the past. What he is doing presently and what he is still going to do in the future. Give thanks to God at all times. The word of God says in Ephesians 5.20, Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is a good thing to give thanks to God. People that have made thanksgiving a lifestyle are called people after God's heart like the way David was called. I trust that you will be called that today after these prayers. It is time to pray together in faith. Father, in the name of Jesus, we we'll thank you, Lord, for saving and redeeming us from the curse of the law. We we'll thank you, Lord, for making us like you. Blessed be your name, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for loving me unconditionally despite all the flaws and my errors. I thank you for loving me for who I am and not for what I am. Glory to your name, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for your provision. Thank you for always being with me and my family at the point of need. The word of God says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 to 18, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Father, according to your word, I am here to thank you for all that you have done for me and my family. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for being a loving and a caring father to us. Blessed be unto your name. Psalm 107 verse 1 says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. In the name of Jesus, I am giving thanks to you, Lord, for your steadfast love and because of your constant goodness towards me and my family. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for putting a new song on my lips and on the lips of every member of my family. Glory be to your holy name. Lord Jesus, I thank you for putting the devil and all his minions warring against your will from coming to pass in my life into null and void. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I have no other thing to offer to you other than the words of my lips, which is gratitude. I thank you, Lord Jesus, because you have blessed me with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places in you. Thank you because I have all that pertains to life and godliness. Lord Jesus, I give you the adoration for making me more than a conqueror through your perfect and unconditional love for me. Blessed be unto your name. And Father, I am here with the sincere heart to bless your name for destroying all the activities of darkness in my life and my family. I extol your name. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for always hearing and answering all my prayers. I know, for you never leave me to myself and allowing the enemies to triumph over me. Philippians 4, 6 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. In the name of Jesus, I bless your name, Lord Jesus, for giving me the ability to not be anxious or bothered about anything, but to always give thanks to you in every situation that I go through. 
Psalms 9 verse 1 says, I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. I will recount all of your wonderful deeds according to your word. I am here to say thank you with all of my heart for all the good things you have done for me in the past, present and future. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because you have given me the ability to always recount of all the wonderful things you have done for me, whether I am in the good or bad times. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let your name, Lord, be praised for exalting your word above all my present circumstances that are contrary to your will in my life. I thank you for giving me the ability to always come to your presence with confidence and boldness. I bless your name, Lord Jesus, for making my thanksgiving overflowing always to your glory. Blessed be your name. Let your name, Lord Jesus, be glorified and exalted above all the heavens and the earth. Thank you, Jesus, for allowing your word to be my priority despite all the things that are happening around me. I will keep on thanking you, Lord Jesus, because your love and your mercy endure in my life and family. I extol your name, Lord, for always perfecting all that concerns me and my family in Jesus' name. I thank you for making your ways known to me and my family. Thank you, Jesus, for revealing your plans and purpose for me and my family. I thank you, Lord, for making me a light even in a dark and perverse generation. I give you the praise for making me stand rooted in your love and never compromise my love and faith in you. Thank you for satisfying my mouth with good things, unloading me daily with benefits. I thank you because I am extraordinarily blessed and extravagantly loved in the name of Jesus. Father, I bless your name. Lord, for destroying all the activities of the devil and his cohorts in my life and family. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for annulling all the evil plots of the wicked ones that are planning to disgrace me and my family. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for answering all my prayers of thanksgiving. In Jesus' name, I pray. There is this assurance that we have in the name of Jesus that we are more than conquerors through Christ that first loved us. The Word of God says in 1 John 4, 4 that you are of God and have overcome the world because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You have been made victorious already in Christ. You are to activate that victory by faith in Christ Jesus. Also, the Word of God says in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57, But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. We are made victorious already in Christ Jesus. Glory to God. The devil has fallen like lightning from heaven and now he is under our feet. Let us pray together in faith. In the name of Jesus, I pray for all that are listening to me today that the Word of God would gain eminence in their lives and make you victorious over all the works of the enemies in the name of Jesus. I also decree that all my battle has been won already in Christ Jesus. I am made more than a conqueror through Christ who first loved me in Jesus' name. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 14 says, But thanks be to God who always lead me in triumph in Christ and manifest through us the sweet aroma of knowledge of him in every place. By the power in that word, I pray for myself that the Lord will lead me in triumph and manifest through me his sweet aroma of the knowledge of him in Jesus. Even if others boast about their high level of security, my boast will be in security and safety that I enjoy in Christ Jesus. I decree that the Lord would give me help against the adversary in the name of Jesus. The Word of God says in Psalm 60 verses 11 to 12 that deliverance by man is in vain and that through God I would do valiantly. According to this word, I decree over my life that I would not depend on the help of men. Rather, I will put my trust in God who alone has made me more than conqueror 
And I decree that through God, I will do valiantly in the name of Jesus. I stand upon the word of God and I decree that the Lord will help me to sing songs of triumph over all the works of the enemies. I decree that the finished works of Christ Jesus in Revelation 5, 12, which are power, riches, wisdom, strength, honor, glory and blessing will be my default state all the days of my life. I release the angel of the Lord to go ahead of me and begin to clear all the crooked places in front of me in the name of Jesus. And I also decree that the angel of the Lord will chase the workers of iniquity and darkness who are planning to hurt me in Jesus name. I decree over my life that my heart would not fear. I will look with satisfaction on all my adversaries in the name of Jesus. Proverbs 2 7 says that God reserves sound wisdom for the upright. He is a shield to those who who walk in integrity. I pray that I have the wisdom of God in me that would always make me victorious in all areas of my life. And I decree that the Lord would always be my shield and exceeding great reward. Romans 8.28 says that all things work together for good to them that love God and are called according to his purpose. I decree over my life that henceforth All things will begin to work for my good, whether the devil and his cohorts like it or not in Jesus' name. From today, I decree that goodness and mercy are following me all the days of my life and I will continually dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I stand upon the word of God that all the plans and plots of the wicked ones against me and my family fall to the ground in the name of Jesus. Psalm 98 verse 1 says, Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm hath gotten me victory. Because of the word of God, I decree that the Lord would put a new song in my mouth to sing and his right hand would give me victory against all the works of darkness in Jesus' name. In my life and my family, I decree that death is swallowed up in victory in the name of Jesus. The Lord would also wipe away all tears from my eyes and the eyes of all my loved ones in Jesus' name. And despite all the tribulations going on around me, I will always be of good cheer because Christ has overcome the world for my sake. I will always overcome evil with good at all times, irrespective of the temptation sent at me. I decree that I am no longer a slave to sin, but a slave to righteousness. I stand upon the word of God and I decree that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me and I decree that I am never defeated in the name of Jesus. I will fight a good fight of faith and I decree and declare that I will finish my cause. I will possess the hidden treasures of darkness and secret reaches in hidden places. I will always be girded with the whole armor of God and by this I would always emerge victorious against all the schemes of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you Lord Jesus for hearing and answering all my prayers. Blessed be your name. In Jesus name I have prayed. The word of God in your mouth is to build the kind of future you want for yourself. All you need to do to be successful and great is embedded in the Word of God. The Word of God has a capacity to turn your life around for good. What you need to do is to enforce the Word of God in your life, in areas that you need to touch. Remember the answer to every of your problem is in the Word of God. God's Word must be made flesh. It must be tangible for all to see. All the situations and circumstances around you are subject to the Word of God. You must legislate the Word of God in your territory. Joshua 1 verse 8 says, This book of the law should not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate therein day and night, and that you may observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then you shall make your ways prosperous, and then you shall have good success. 
Meditating on the word means that you speak and confess the word. So today, we will be confessing the word of God over your life. Do it in faith. In the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving me your word. Your word is all I have got. Your word has made me complete in you. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that all that rightfully belongs to me becomes mine in the name of Jesus. Sir John 1 verse 2 says, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. I stand upon the word of God and I decree that I will prosper and be in health in all areas of my life in the name of Jesus. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I pray for you that I begin to do extraordinary things in the kingdom. I wrath great wonders in the name of Jesus. And I pray that never again will I be found as a mediocre. I rise above every amateurish attitude. I have the wisdom of God that makes me greater than my equals. The word of God says by the power of the name of Jesus that I have all that pertains to life and godliness and my assurance is that I can do all that he has put inside of me. I pray that in the name of Jesus that all that was stolen from me by the wicked ones in the past are restored in sevenfold. The word of God says in Luke 1 verse 37 that with God all things are possible. I proclaim over my life that all things that seem difficult and impossible become possible. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the peace of God will rule over my life and my family in the name of Jesus, declaring that all the raging storms will assuage even as I speak now. I pray that I will get the honor that the Lord has already bestowed for me, being made manifest, that I will be honored by the Lord with wealth and with fresh fruits of my increase, always in the name of Jesus. Luke 6 38 says, Give and it shall be given unto you good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over, so shall men give to you. I stand upon this word and I say that I would give to God and people bountifully because it is written in the word of God that blessed is he that giveth than the hand that receiveth. I will never be on the receiving end in the name of Jesus Christ. I am blessed in the city and blessed in the country in the name of Jesus. I decree that I am blessed in the fruit of my body and in the fruit of my hand. And as I decree in the name of Jesus that my fruits of the body, they become blessed. The works of my hands are blessed and I'm willing and obedient as I eat the good of the land in the name of Jesus. I pray concerning my life as I speak by the power in the name of Jesus that all the wicked ones that have come against me will flee before me in seven ways even as they came in one way. The word of God says in Philippians 4 verses 19 that the Lord would supply all my needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I know that there is potency in this word and as I release knowing that God would do for me, I decree that all my needs are met and I do not lack anything in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd and I lack nothing. He is restoring my soul in the name of Jesus. I also decree that even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for God is with me. His rod and his staff would always comfort me in the name of Jesus. Galatians 3.13 says that Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the Lord. He has been made a curse for me because cursed is anyone that hangs on the tree. I pray that all generational patterns in my life and in my family are broken in the name of Jesus. The curses holding me down and impeding my progress remain broken now as I speak in the name of Jesus. The Lord blesses me and surrounds me with favor as a shield 
and the God of hope fills me with all joy and peace in believing so that I abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus name. I speak peace and joy that surpasses all understanding, relieving inside and outside of me in the name of Jesus. God is working in me both the will and do of his good pleasure, always in the name of Jesus. My words are filled with power and they minister grace to whoever listens to me in the name of Jesus. I pray concerning my life that there is nothing that I touch will be cast. I am blessed because the word of God has said, I have been blessed from the foundation of the earth by the virtue that is in the blood of Jesus. I decree and declare that as I go in, I come out blessed. As I meet anybody, I'm favored of them. In the name of Jesus, I choose to meditate on things that are pure, lovely, true, honest, and of good report in the name of Jesus. I do not fear evil because only goodness and mercy follow me all the days of my life. According to the word of God in Zechariah 3 verse 8, which says, I am the apple of God's eye. I proclaim that I am untouchable because I am the apple of God's eye. No man dares to do me any harm and succeeds in it in the name of Jesus. And anyone that rises up with a tongue that is contrary to the will of God in my life, he's already condemned. I declare that I am a joy of many generations and I am excellency of God's power and I dispense the presence of God. Anywhere I go, I shine the light of God in the name of Jesus. I am no longer cold, forsaken or desolate. My names are Hepzibah and Beulah. I am favored. I am favored across regions. I am favored across any race. I am favored across gender. God delights in me always and I'm God's prized possession in the name of Jesus. I no longer have the spirit of fear, but of love, power out of sound mind in the name of Jesus. I bless you Lord Jesus for answering and always answering my prayers in Jesus name. Continue. There is nothing too hard for God to do because he is the God of all flesh and there is nothing too hard for him to do. What is that thing that you are trusting God for? Believe him for the impossible and you will get the impossible. He told us in 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 7 that you should cast your cares upon the Lord for he cares for you. No matter how it seems that there is no hope for you, do not believe the lie of the devil. God's thoughts for you are thoughts of good and not of evil to give you an expected end. Today we will be inviting God to all situations that are contrary to God's will for us. The word of God says in Jeremiah 33 verse 3 that you should call upon him in the time of trouble. He will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Let us pray. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the will of God will be done in your life. According to the word of God in Romans 8.28 which says, All things work together for good to them that love God and have been called according to his purpose. From today I decree that all things are working for your good, whether the devil likes it or not, in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the plans of the wicked ones targeted at you are nullified. God will give you peace in stormy situations. God will carry you and comfort you all the days of your life in Jesus name. The word of God says in Philippians 4 verses 19 that God will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. The Lord will supply all your needs and you will not lack anything in Jesus name. I pray for you that the Lord will show himself strong and mighty in your life and the family. In that name, Jesus, you will not be stranded and forsaken. I release the help of God into your life and you will not lack help in any area of your life. Exodus 14, 14 says that God will fight for you and you will hold your peace 
and by the reason of the word of God will stand sure the Lord will begin to fight all your battles for you in the name of Jesus and I release the help of God into all areas of your life God's presence will overshadow all adverse situations in your life and family and his manifold presence will bring peace and orderliness in chaotic situations in Jesus name you will not be anxious for anything as the Lord will rise up in all mightiness and help you in Jesus name you will seek the Lord and he will answer and deliver you from all your fears in Jesus name I pray for you that you will always have the boldness and confidence to seek the Lord at all times I decree over you that the Lord will do a new thing in your life and your family and you will experience the almighty hands of God in all ramifications in Jesus name. God will fill you with joy and peace as you trust in him to step into your situation. I decree in the name of Jesus that the Lord will wipe away all tears from your eyes and you shall not experience death in any area of your life. You will not be short of ideas and the Lord would give you divine ideas that would turn your finances around for good in Jesus name. I release the grace of God into your life to assuage for the losses you might have recorded in your life in the name of Jesus. There is speed in all facets of your life. The spirit of stagnation is destroyed. You would no longer labor hard but get little resource from your labor in Jesus name. You will be grounded in knowing what God is saying over your situation past season and in time in Jesus name. By the power in the name of Jesus, I cancel all the plans of the devil and his cohorts to frustrate the will of God for you and your family in the name of Jesus. We well, thank you Father for answering all our prayers. This is the confidence that we have that if we ask anything in your name, you will give it to us. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. All the things holding you back might be physical or spiritual, but these things are lesser than you because you have been made more than a conqueror in Jesus Christ. The scripture says in Nahum 1.13, and I quote, so now I will break off his yoke bar upon you and I'll tear off your shackles. End of quote. The things holding you back are chains and these chains can be broken using the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. All bondages are destroyed by the name of Jesus. Now we will be using the name of Jesus to break free from all things limiting us. So it will be on that day that his burden will be removed from your shoulders and his yoke from your neck and the yoke will be broken because of fatness. The anointing of God abides in you and by the reason of it, all yokes are destroyed. Let us pray together. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that all things that are limiting you and your family are destroyed. You're free from all the things that are making you and your family go around in circles in the name of Jesus. And by the power in that name, you will not be limited and stagnated in life. The word of God says in Jeremiah 38, It shall come about on that day, declares the Lord God of hosts, that I will break his yoke off their neck and will tear off their bonds and strangers will no longer make them their slaves. According to the word of God, I decree over you that the Lord will break your yoke off your neck and strangers will no longer make you slaves in the name of Jesus. Psalm 107 verse 16 says, For he has shattered the gates of bronze and cut bars of iron asunder. By the word of God, I pray that all the gates of the wicked ones that have lifted up its heads against you are shattered and the bars of iron that have kept you in bondage are destroyed in the name of Jesus. You are no longer a stranger in chains from today. You walk in victory that you have in Christ Jesus. The scripture says in Psalm 6, 8 verse 6 that God makes a home for the lonely. He leads out the prisoners into prosperity and only the rebellious dwell in a past land. 
by the power in the word of God, I pray for you that the Lord will lead you out to your prosperity all the days of your life in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that all habits that have made you obsessed come to an end now in Jesus' name. Isaiah 42 verse 7 says to open the blind eyes to bring out prisoners from the dungeon and those who dwell in darkness from the prison. In the name of Jesus I decree that everyone in captivity in your family will come out of the prison. They have been kept and I decree that their eyes are open and free from demonic oppression in the name of Jesus. I decree that your soul escapes as a bird out of the snare of the trapper. The snare is broken and you have escaped in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will never be stagnated in anything you do. In the name of Jesus, all the plans of the evil ones to cause you a major setback which you would not be able to recover from are thwarted in the name of Jesus. Lord will go before you and make the rough places smooth. He will also shatter the doors of bronze and cut through their iron bars in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the Lord will break the bars of your yoke and make you walk erect in all your ways in the name of Jesus. And by the power in that name I decree that the Lord will cut into the cords of the wicked in your life and family in Jesus name. Romans 8 2 says for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death by the word of God I decree that you are no longer a slave to sin but a slave to righteousness in the name of Jesus and I decree over you that you are walking in the freedom that Christ has given to you and in the name of Jesus I release the angel of the Lord to go ahead of you and destroy all the devices of the wicked ones that want to put you in captivity in Jesus name thank you Lord for answering all our prayers in Jesus name we have prayed Amen you must put your trust completely in God both in good and bad times Scripture says that those that put their trust in God would never be ashamed and they are also wise. You might look stupid to the world for trusting God when situations go south. They do not understand why you must do that because the things of the Spirit are foolishness to them. Trusting God shows your level of faith in Him. It also indicates how close you are to Him in the place of fellowship. The Bible says in Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He will direct your paths. Today we'll be praying that we will learn how to put our trust in God despite the circumstances around us. Let us pray together in faith, believing that we would get the answers to our prayers. Father, we thank you for helping us put our trust in you. We know that putting our trust in you would make us never be ashamed. We thank you, Lord, for teaching us how to depend on and trust in you completely with all our strength, spirit and soul. Now I will be making these declarations over you. Receive the prayers with faith. The Word of God says in 1 Peter 5 verse 7, Cast your cares upon Him, for He cares for you. According to the Word of God that never fails, I pray for you that you will cast all your troubles, pains, weaknesses, and areas of concern to the Lord. Romans 8.28 says that all things work together for your good because you love God and have been called according to His purpose. I pray for you that you will always learn to trust God. As you do this, all things begin to work for your good by the power in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the Holy Ghost will teach you and comfort your heart on how to trust the Lord completely. 
The word of God in Isaiah 26 verse 3 says that he will keep in perfect peace those whose mind is fixed in him. I pray for you that your heart will be fixed on the Lord despite all the antics of the devil and his cohorts against you by the power in Jesus name. I release the grace for you to put on your trust and dependence in God wholly without any reservation in the name of Jesus. As you look to the Lord in all situations and circumstances, your face will be lightened and never be darkened in Jesus' name. I declare over you that no situation would ever make you doubt the faithfulness and love of God for you. When all hope seems lost, you will still be unshaken and unmovable in the mighty name of Jesus. I cancel all the plans of the enemies to make you lose sight of who you are in Christ. You will love God even in bad situations. In the name of Jesus, nothing will distract you and make you jump from pillar to post in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 26 verse 4 says that you should trust in the Lord forever for the Lord himself is the rock eternal. Because of the word of God, I pray for you that you will put your trust in God forever. In Jesus' name. The Bible also says in Isaiah 41 verse 10 that you should not be afraid and you should not be dismayed for the Lord God is with you. Right now I pray for you that you would never be afraid of the activities of the evil ones who are plotting against you because the Lord will always be with you. He will always strengthen your heart to trust him completely in the name of Jesus just as Jeremiah 29 11 says. For I know the thoughts I have towards you, thoughts of good and not of evil, to give you an expected end. I begin to activate the strength and faith to trust God's plan for you. You will not leave him and his will for you in the name of Jesus. Your heart will never be troubled as we keep on trusting in the Lord in the name of Jesus. Nothing will ever pluck you out of the perfect will of the Lord in Jesus' name. In the name that is above every other name, I pray that the agenda of the devil and his cohorts to make you grow weak and faint in adversities is thwarted in Jesus' name. From today, I pray for you that you will be strong and courageous. You will not be shaken or afraid of the attacks of the evil ones against you and your family. Proverbs 29 verse 5 says that those that trust God will be kept safe and because the word of God never fails, I therefore pray for you that as you keep on trusting in the Lord, you will be kept safe from all the attacks of the evil ones in Jesus' name. When every other person around you is fainting, you will still trust the Lord always and never be weary of trusting him. I pray for you that as you trust in the Lord, he will help you in all areas of your life. Psalm 32 verse 10 says that many are the woes of the wicked, but the Lord's unfailing love surrounds those who trust him. Right now, I pray for you that the Lord's unfailing love would surround you and your loved ones in the name of Jesus. You will always wait and trust in the Lord without reservation. Your heart will lean on the Lord and not your own understanding. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for hearing and answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. There is a need for you and me to remain rooted in the love of God. It was explicitly stated in Jude 1, 21 for us to remain in the love of God and look it out for the mercy of God. Many things can make us stray away from the love of God. But the truth is nothing can ever separate you from the love of Christ. You are in the hollow of God's palm and there is nothing that can pluck you out of his hands. The Bible says in Ephesians 6.10, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. We will be praying today that the Lord would help us to stand firm in him and to remain rooted in his love despite all the things that might want to shift our attention from the King of Kings. Let us pray together in faith. Father, we thank you for making us rooted in your love. 
bless you for keeping us in the hollow of your arms. By this, we have the assurance and confidence that we cannot be shaken. Father, I pray for all your children that are listening to this message today. I pray, Lord, that they will remain rooted in your love in the name of Jesus. Nothing will make them shift their attention away from you. According to Ephesians 6, 11, put on the whole armor of God so that you will be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. According to the word of God, I decree over you that you will always put on the whole armor of God so that you will be able to withstand the wiles of the devil in the name of Jesus. First Peter 5, 9 says, resist him, the devil, firm in your faith, knowing that the same experiences of suffering are being accomplished by your brethren who are in the world. I pray for you today that you will resist the devil steadfastly and you will not be discouraged when you face trials, storms, troubles and persecutions in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that nothing will plug you out of the hands of God. The devil and his cohorts would never see you stray out of the love of God in the name of Jesus. 1 Corinthians 15, 58 says, Be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. I stand upon the word of God right now and I decree over you that you will be able to be steadfast, immovable, and you will always abound in the work of the Lord at all times in Jesus' name. By the power in the word of God, I pray for you that you will be zealous to good works, always in the name of Jesus. You will stay in the love of God despite all the distractions going around you in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that you will be on the alert. You will stand firm in the faith and you will be strong and courageous in Jesus' name. As I plead the blood of Jesus over you, I pray for you that the blood of Jesus will keep you and shield you from all the fairy darts of the devil and his cohorts in Jesus' name. I release strength for you to be able to remain steadfast in the works of the Lord amid all the chaos happening around you by the power in the name of Jesus. There is nothing that will make you begin to doubt the faithfulness and tender compassionate mercy of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. And right now I arrest all the forces of darkness that are bent on making you leave the will of God for you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the Lord will keep you and preserve you always in his presence in Jesus' name. I pray for you that the grace of God will help you in standing firm in him at all times in your life. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 say, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. I decree over you that you will trust in the Lord and never lean on your own understanding. The Lord will help you submit to him and as you do this, your part will become straight in Jesus' name. You will stand firm in the Lord until the day of his glorious appearance. You will be caught up with him in the clouds as he comes again to take up the saints with him in the name of Jesus. The God of all peace will fill your heart with all peace and joy as you keep on trusting in him. I decree over you that you will run the race that is before you with patience. Your eyes will remain fixed on the prize and nothing will make you lose sight of where you are going in Jesus' name. By the special power that is embedded in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will walk worthy of your calling and you will not do what the Lord has not called you to do in the name of Jesus. The mercy of the Lord will keep you focused and deeply rooted in Him. I release the grace to never join the wrong association that will make you stray away from His presence. The love of God will be stirred in your spirit and you will have an experiential knowledge of God in the name of Jesus. I say to you that you will not only love the Lord in words but also in deed in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. The entrance of God's word gives light and understanding to the simple. The word of God illuminates and opens a man up for revelation. 
as the word of God is the sure way to get divine wisdom and understanding. The more of the word of God in you, the more valuable you will become as the Holy Spirit opens the eyes of your mind to see treasures in the word of God. We will be praying today that our eyes of understanding are enlightened as we study the word of God. Psalm 119 verse 18 says, Open my eyes that I might behold wondrous things in the word of God. If you're ready, let's pray. Father, we thank you Lord for your word that you have made available for us. We well, thank you because you are the word of God and you are at work inside of us. We we'll bless your name, Lord, for your word is yea and amen in you. And it does not change and it will always remain true. The word says in Acts 26 verse 18, to open the eyes so that they may turn from darkness to light, from the power of Satan to God that they might receive forgiveness of sins and a place among those who are sanctified by faith in me. By reason of this, I pray for all that are listening to this message today that they will be translated from all forms of darkness that they are into to the marvelous light. I also pray that anywhere they are experiencing darkness in their lives will be turned to light in the name of Jesus. By the power of God's word, I pray that you will begin to see mysteries and secrets that will turn your life around as you study the word of God in the name of Jesus. Ephesians 1.18 says, Having the eyes of your heart enlightened, that you may know the hope to which he has called you, that are the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints. I pray for you listening to me today that your eyes are opened and you will know your calling and purpose in life. You would no longer live life like every other person in the name of Jesus. The word of God will open your eyes to see treasures that you have not taken possession of in the name of Jesus. Your eyes will be open to see what the Lord has in store for you because his word says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verses 9 and 10 that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of men that which God has prepared for them that love him. For God has revealed them to us by his spirit for the spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of the spirit. I pray for you that your vision will not be deemed and neither will your strength be abated as you study the word of God in Jesus' name. I decree over you that in any way that you are confused as touching major decisions in your life, the word of God will give you illumination and direction in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray your senses of discernment are heightened and you will be attuned much more to God's voice. I decree that the eyes of those people that have been blinded spiritually by the devil in your family are opened in the name of Jesus. As you study the word of God, you will grasp light, life and revelation from it in the name of Jesus. You will not be blindfolded by the powers of darkness as the word of God would give you your inheritance in Christ and will give you the hidden treasures of darkness in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that God will begin to make known his ways to you and you will see his acts as we dedicate time to get an understanding from the word of God. I pray also that you would not be led astray by false teachers. The word of God will garrison your hearts against these false teachers in the name of Jesus. You will stay rooted in the word of God and you will be of an understanding heart and a teachable spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I send back all the arrows of distractions that are shot at you to blind your spiritual sensitivity in Jesus name. We thank you Lord for hearing and answering us. Thank you, Jesus, for meeting us at the point of our need. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. God has promised to supply all your needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. 
He also told us not to be anxious about what we are going to eat, drink or wear. Because he knows that we need these things for survival. He is too committed to seeing you starve or be in want. The young lion men lack and suffer hunger. But they that trust in the Lord shall not lack any good thing. All your needs are met already in Christ Jesus. Do not be like someone that is in need, rather act like one that lends to nations. The Word of God says you cannot ask God for a fish and it will give you a serpent. We'll be asking God what we want in his name with faith, believing that our prayers are answered. Let us pray together in faith. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray today for you that all your needs are met according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. I pray for you that you would not lack anything good in the mighty name of Jesus. 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 8 says, And God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. By the reason of the word of God, which is yea and amen in him, I decree that you are blessed in all things and you will always have sufficiency in all things and also abounding unto good works in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree over you that you have all things that pertain unto life and godliness. The Lord would never leave you and he will never forsake you. He will keep on meeting you at the point of your needs. From today, I decree over you that you would be a giver and not always a receiver in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will begin to possess the hidden treasures of darkness. You would not beg before you eat. The Lord will cause you to eat in abundance in the name of Jesus. John 10.10 10 says that Jesus has come to give you life and to give you this life in abundance. I therefore pray for you that the life of God will be seen much more in all areas of your life in Jesus' name. I pray for you that you would not sow and another man reap from where you have sown. The Lord will bless the works of your hands in the name of Jesus. Matthew 6.33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things will be added to you. From today, I pray for you that you will always seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And as you do that, all other things will be added to you. The Lord will cause you to give to nations and you'll be called blessed by the Lord. By nations, kings will come to the brightness of your rising and Gentiles will come to your light in the mighty name of Jesus. That idea that would forever take you away from the valley of lack and penury will be released unto you whether the devil and his cohorts like it or not. I pray for you that you will arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has been risen upon you. The Lord will rain an avalanche of resources on you and your family in the name of Jesus. There is no stagnation and limitation for you in all ramifications in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that the angel in charge of sending you your daily benefits is put to work for your sake in Jesus' name. And I decree over you that nothing dies in your hands in the name of Jesus. Help will always come to you when you need it and your helpers would locate you whether the devil likes it or not. I cancel all the devices of the wicked ones to steal the good things that God has prepared for you in the name of Jesus. There is progress and supernatural speed for you and your family even this season in the name of Jesus. The project that you might have embarked on is completed in this season. I release the rain of abundance of resources for you and your family throughout this season and even forevermore in Jesus' name. We bless you Lord for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen.
Do well to like, share and subscribe to our channel. God bless you richly.